Welcome to the IBM Virtual Security Operations Center, or Virtual SOC, portal. The centralized customer-facing command center for your managed security services from IBM. This demo will walk you through the portal's interface and key features, beginning with the customizable tabs of the home dashboard, then moving through the ticket manager, the report dashboard, the asset center, and concluding with advanced analytic capabilities. Throughout this walkthrough, you'll also learn more about how these features protect your enterprise with holistic visibility into your operations and security. The Home Dashboard provides a single pane of glass through which you can survey the situation before drilling in for additional details. Here's the welcome page of the Virtual SOC portal, providing more than 25 customized portlets that display summarized views of your security activity. For example, portlets can display open tickets, recent alerts, or active security incidents. These portlets are rich with Web 2.0 content, offering mouse-over capabilities that reveal additional security details. This gives you rapid access to relevant security insight without having to drill down into multiple menus. Also, customizations to the Home Dashboard are sticky to each user profile. This means users can add, arrange, and remove portlets at any time, tailoring their views to fit their needs. The Home Dashboard uses a tab system for easy navigation to customizable views or roles, such as 1. Incidents and Alerts, 2. Sensor Activity, 3. Operations, 4. Management, and 5. News. This lets you quickly shift from Incident Alerts to Sensor Activity to Operations and to Management with a single click. Each tab displays real-time data, providing access to the needed security information. And for added support for new users, the Tooltip feature offers quick access to videos and documentation on how to best leverage the portal's capabilities. The Ticket Manager is the command center that documents all communication with IBM security services, including IBM threat analysts and support representatives. If you don't have your own ticketing system to facilitate internal or external ticketing needs, the IBM Ticket Manager is a tremendous value add. The intuitive sorting capability allows you to isolate tickets to specific devices, issues, or status. For example, isolating by security incident lets you quickly load related tickets. Mousing over the ticket ID or latest work log provides pop-up details to check the latest status without drilling further in. Within the ticket, customers have the option to live chat with IBM threat analysts. You can also assign a five-star rating to tickets based on the quality of service received from IBM. Over time, IBM reviews the rating system and accumulated comments to ensure the best possible quality of service. For a deeper dive, you can expand a row to display additional details. Context menus are also available, allowing single-click access to the most common security queries. These queries include the logs that triggered this event, the suspected sources, the targeted victims, and so forth. You can also view IP reputation and profiling reports for the attackers or targeted victims, as well as the most recent information on this ticket. It's also easy to add a new work log, documenting follow-up details, or indicating how ticket status should change. The reporting capabilities of the Virtual SOC portal can provide either a quick review of security information or a deep dive into a particular issue. Setting up regular reports is ideal for customers who want consistent security updates without having to log into the portal. These regular reports can be customized and scheduled for delivery via email to any number of email addresses or distribution groups. With the report dashboard, you have rapid access to information like IBM's ability to meet service level agreements or summarized views of the server security, including port activity, pre-attack probes, unauthorized access attempts, and other useful security information. The portal also provides ISO standards for compliance reporting, enabling customers to prove due diligence. Advanced analytics are also available in the report dashboard. Let's look at the Attacks on Vulnerable Assets report to see how easy it is to run a report. You can customize the report by time frame, assets included, and key criteria, such as isolating the results to critical servers. This report would arrive in the user's inbox, providing a prioritized list of devices and IP addresses that have been attacked successfully, and the user-specific information for how to respond. 
If you click on one of the Common Vulnerability and Exposures, or CVE, values, it opens a database with a detailed overview of the vulnerability. This includes the Common Vulnerability Scoring System, or CVSS, score, the Impact Subscore, and other information for quickly resolving the issue. In addition, the report enables immediate hyperlink access into the IP Intelligence Report for the affected assets. To extend IBM's visibility of your infrastructure, the Assets Center also facilitates management of information about critical assets that are not managed through IBM Security Services. This tool gives you a way to upload critical information that can be used in the correlation and reporting capabilities of the Virtual SOC portal. Using the Asset Center, you can upload or manually enter critical server and device information, as well as perform bulk uploads of asset details and third-party vulnerability scan results. Manually uploaded vulnerability scan results are automatically integrated into all correlation, analytics, and reporting capabilities. This provides you enhanced information and increased visibility, a tremendous value at no additional cost. Among the most important features in the Virtual SOC portal are the analytics and correlation capabilities. The Suspicious Host Dashboard provides near real-time analysis of inbound and outbound firewall traffic correlated against suspicious host feeds, as well as the intrusion detection and prevention events triggered within a specific time frame. Using this dashboard, you can identify drive-by downloads, phone home activities of infected internal hosts, as well as direct attacks. In addition, historical trending automatically prioritizes the severity of these circumstances, elevating the most active communications to the top. With the filtering capabilities of the Suspicious Host Dashboard, you can easily isolate the view to specific devices or IP addresses. In the following window, notice how the communication has spiked by 1,250% over 27 different communications. Mousing over the flag, you can see that the attacker is from Germany, and mousing over the black IP address, you can identify the suspicious host. Additional summarized details are available across each row including a summary of intrusion detection and prevention events that triggered within the same time frame, as well as a spark line that illustrates quantity and frequency of communication. Expanding each row provides specific details regarding the intrusion detection and prevention events that triggered between these two IP addresses. And on the lower right-hand side of the dashboard, IP reputation and profiling information is available by clicking on the IP address of the attacker or targeted victim. The IP Intelligence Report, another complementary analytic capability, can save you considerable time and energy by consolidating multiple data sources into a single pane of glass. Reviewing the IP Intelligence Report for the German attacker, we can see he is located in Berlin. We also can view all of the attack activity with internal hosts, the intrusion detection and prevention events that triggered, and whether tickets have been opened to triage the actions of this attacker. Quickly opening the IP intelligence report of a targeted victim, we can distinguish whether the machine has been scanned and has high, medium, or low vulnerabilities, an excellent indication of the likely success of the attack. Since the characteristics presented in these reports are fairly significant, you can quickly access the ticketing data to see if these activities have been identified and are being remediated. Automated correlation and alerting across diverse data sets are key capabilities of the Virtual SOC portal. These offer real-time alerting on attack criteria, notifications of which are posted online and emailed to key security contacts within your organization. To better handle security incidents without overloading your team, you can leverage the portal's alert policy options. From the real-time alert policy page, you can activate a variety of correlation rules for your firewall, intrusion detection and prevention systems, operating systems and applications. You can also create custom system activity rules, designating which events and operating criteria are most relevant to your business. In short, you can decide exactly which alerts you need to protect your company. When an alert is triggered, it goes to the Alert Monitor page and is sent via email to key security contacts within your organization. Here, you can review the alerts triggered by the Real-Time Automated Intelligence, or AI, correlation engine. More details are available within each alert, including links to the IP intelligence report, device details, and drill in to the triggering logs. With the security, agility, and oversight of the IBM Virtual SOC portal, 
you have a wide array of dashboards and tools to ensure that your data and infrastructure are safe from attack. Whether you employ the proven security expertise of IBM Security Services or your own internal team, the portal provides critical tools to monitor, detect, and proactively address threats before they impact your business.